They brought their son, Ronnie, Tina's son, Craig, and Ike's two sons with Lorraine, Ike Jr., and Michael from St. Louis to live with them. She later revealed in Ike Tina that Ike was abusive and promiscuous throughout their marriage, which led to her S-word attempt in 1968 by overdosing on narcotic pills. She said it was her relationship with Ike that made her most unhappy. In the beginning, she was really in love with him. Tina said that he was totally unpredictable. Later in Ike's life, he was diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Tina abruptly left Ike on July 1st, 1976. On July 27, she filed for a divorce on the grounds of irreconcilable differences. Her divorce petition asked for $4,000 a month in alimony, $1,000 a month in child support, and custody of their sons, Craig and Ronnie. Their divorce was finalized on March 29, 1978. And in the final divorce decree, Tina took responsibility for missed concert dates as well as an IRS lien. Tina Turner retained songwriter royalties from songs she had written, but Ike got the publishing royalties for his compositions and hers. She also kept her two Jaguar cars, furs, and jewelry along with her stage name. She gave Ike her share of their Bolick Sounds recording studio, publishing companies, real estate, and he kept his stamps and played small clubs to pay off debts. Ike stated on several occasions that he was never officially married to Tina because he was legally married to another woman at the time of their wedding. However, they had a common law marriage and still had to go through a formal divorce. He also stated that her birth name was Martha Nell Bullock, not Anna Mae Bullock. She signed her legal name as Martha Nell Turner on multiple contracts. In Ike's autobiography, Taking Back My Name, he said, Sure, I slapped Tina. We have fights and there have been times when I punched her to the ground without thinking, but I never beat her. What the hell is the difference, Ike? In a 1999 interview on the Roseanne's show, Roseanne Barr urged Ike to publicly apologize to Tina. In 2007, Ike told Jet Magazine that he still loved Tina and he had written a letter apologizing for putting her and the kids through that kind of stuff, but he never sent it. After his demise on December 12, 2007, Tina issued a brief statement through her spokesperson. Tina hasn't had any contact with Ike in more than 30 years. No further comment will be made. Tina's sister Eileen still considered Ike her brother-in-law and attended his funeral. Phil Spector criticized Tina at the funeral. She told the Sunday Times in 2018 that, as an old person, I have forgiven him, but I wouldn't work with him. He asked me for one more tour with me, and I said, no, absolutely not. Ike wasn't someone you could forgive and allow him back in. In 1986, Tina Turner met German music executive Erwin Back, who was sent by her European record label EMI to greet Tina at an airport. Erwin was over 16 years her junior. Initially friends, they began dating later that year. In July 2017, after a 27 romantic relationship, they married in a civil ceremony on the banks of Lake Zurich in Switzerland. Tina had two sons, Raymond Craig, born on August 20, 1958, and the other with Ike, Ronald Rennell Turner, born on October 27, 1960. She also adopted two of Ike's children, raising them as her own. She was 18 years old when she gave birth to her oldest son. Ike adopted Raymond Craig Hill and changed his name to Craig Raymond Turner. Craig was found deceased in an apparent S-word in July 2018. Tina's youngest son, Ronnie, played bass guitar in a band called Manufacture Funk with songwriter and musician Patrick Moten. Ronnie also played for both of his parents' bands. Through him, Tina has two grandchildren. He was married to French singer Afida Turner. Ronnie passed away from complications of colon cancer in December 2022. During Tina's divorce trial, Ike sent their four sons to live with Tina and gave her money for one month's rent. Ike Jr. worked as a sound engineer at Bolick Sound and briefly for Tina after her divorce, later winning a Grammy Award for producing his father's album, Rising with the Blues. He toured with former Ike at Randy Love at Sweet Randy Love and the Love Thing Band. Ike Turner Jr. stated that he and his brothers have a distant relationship with their mother, Tina. In Tina's I, Tina autobiography, she said that after her divorce, she became a little bit estranged from all her sons except Craig. In 1989, Tina told TV Week that she's still there for the boys, but there have been reports of Tina's estrangement from her sons in the years before her demise. Tina Turner sometimes referred to herself as a Buddhist, Baptist, alluding her upbringing in the Baptist church where her father was a deacon and her later conversion to Buddhism as an adult. She stated in her 1986 autobiography, I, Tina, that she was introduced to Buddhism by Ike's friend, Valerie Bishop, who taught her to chant. That's recited in the film, What's Love Got to Do With It in 1973. Tina practiced Buddhism with a neighborhood international chanting group. After chanting, she noticed positive changes in her life. 
which she attributed to her newfound spiritual practice. She would chant four hours a day. As she got older, she no longer chanted as much, but still maintained a daily practice. In 2013, Tina applied for her Swiss citizenship, stating she would relinquish her U.S. citizenship. The stated reasons for her renouncement were that she no longer had any strong ties to the U.S. and had no plans to reside there in the future. In April, she undertook a mandatory citizenship test, which included advanced knowledge of German and Swiss history. On April 22, 2013, she became a citizen of Switzerland. She signed the paperwork to renounce her American citizenship at the U.S. Embassy in Bern on October 24, 2013. Tina Turner revealed in her 2018 memoir, My Love Story, that she had multiple life-threatening illnesses. She had high blood pressure since 1978, which remained mostly untreated and resulted in damage to her kidneys and eventual kidney failure. In 2013, three weeks after her wedding to Erwin Back, she had a stroke and needed to learn to walk again. In 2016, she was diagnosed with intestinal cancer. While she attempted to treat her health problems with homeopathy, they worsened. Homeopathy is a pseudo-scientific system of alternative medicine. Her chances of receiving a kidney transplant were considered low, and she was urged to start dialysis. In 2019, she considered assisted s a practice that is legal in Switzerland. She enrolled as a member of Exit International, but Beck offered to donate a kidney for her transplant. Tina accepted her husband's donation and had kidney transplant surgery on April 7, 2017. On May 24, 2023, Tina Turner passed away at her home in Switzerland at age 83 after years of illnesses. Okay, y'all. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And rest in peace to the late and the iconic Tina Turner.